of the robbery suspect shot and killed by a police officer in Independence yesterday is sharing his heartbreak. He says that his son was trying to get his life together, but he was by no means perfect. WLWT News 5's Tammy Matasa live with the interview and the latest on the investigation. Tammy. My Kentucky State Police just told me they are not releasing the name of the officer who fired the fatal shot or the officer's department. Meanwhile, tonight, Alan Todd's parents say they just want people to know that he was a good human being. He was a good boy, he was. He had his problems, there's no doubt, everybody does. But he wasn't no monster either. I don't want him painted up as a monster. He was a human being. Chris Myman will be the first person to tell you he doesn't excuse his son's actions, but he says Alan Todd was a good person who was backed into a corner. And I think when he got cut from his final job and he was broke, I think that that's why he did what he did out of desperation to save his Christmas. A Christmas Todd wanted for his 10 year old daughter, but didn't live to see. <sighs> That was the worst for her. Police say Todd first robbed the Magnuson Hotel at gunpoint, then led police on a chase all over Kenton County, crashed his car, and ran on foot into the woods. Nine hours later, an officer spotted him and confronted him. Kentucky State Police say he had a gun and did not follow orders. The officer shot and killed the 27 year old. I loved him dearly. The confrontation went down a mile from where his family lives. And I just thought to myself, if he just made it that last mile, I could have stopped all this from happening. Todd's family said he had gotten out of prison in June after being sentenced in 2005 for robbery. They say he worked hard to get his life on track, but couldn't keep a permanent job because of his past. So hard for him, and he never stopped trying. And I don't know when things changed. Now, Todd stayed with his family, and his father told me, to his knowledge, he did not have a weapon or any guns. Reporting live in Kenton County, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. And Tammy, the family confident Kentucky State Police will have a fair investigation. They hope that there's dash camera video to shed light on the shooting.